Hello everyone, I welcome you on behalf of Akash for the solution segment of JEE Main 2020 September edition of Mathematics. Against all odds, you people have given this examination this time in the month of September. Really, it's appreciable. So, let's begin with the first question. It is from Mathematics. Let alpha and beta be the roots of the equation 5x square plus 6x minus 2 equals 0. Then we have to choose amongst these four options. Pretty simple one. Since it is clearly given in this question that alpha and beta are the roots. So what's the result over here? So let's write down. We can clearly say that 5 alpha square plus 6 alpha minus 2 is equal to 0. Correct. In the similar fashion, you can talk about beta. You have to talk in terms of 6, 5 and 4. You know that Sn is alpha n plus beta n. So what you need as the powers for alpha and beta? 6 as maximum. You can conclude the general one with n or directly you can say 5 alpha 6 plus 6 alpha 5 minus 2 alpha 4 is equal to 0 and similarly for beta 5 beta 6 plus 6 beta 5 minus 2 beta 4 is equal to 0. Am I clear on it? Just add the 2. On adding what you are going to get 5 as 6 plus 6 as 5 minus 2 as 4 is equal to 0. 5 as 6 plus 6 as 5 minus 2 as 4 is equal to 0. Yes, it is given here as option number 1. So, let's mark and mention it as the required result. I'm sure this simple question is clear. Let's move on to the second question now. Let x, x is from natural numbers between 1 to 17 including both and y, ax plus b. If mean and variance of elements of y are 17 and 216 respectively, then the value of a plus b. Now, one option, start blindly solving, just calculating. Option 2, use intelligent work. And what's that? We know this y is somehow related to x. Right, so we can use this fact. Let's start it. For x, we can say mean. What is that? Yes, it is 1 plus 2 plus up to 17 upon 17 giving you the value 17 into 18 upon 2 into 17 in denominator that is 9. Right? Now variance of x. What is that? Variance is simply given by summation xi square upon n. Is that clear? Minus summation xi upon n whole square, right? So here we can write simply 1 square, 2 square up to 17 square divided by 17 minus, we can write mean square that is 81, correct? When you go for this summation, this is 17 into 18 into 35 divided by 6 into 17 minus 81. 17 is cancelled, so it is 105 minus 81 giving you 24. Am I clear on this point? Now, what is required? Let's check out. We have to talk about why we know that when mean for this x data is given and you are multiplying by some number a, mean for the new data will also get multiplied. When you are adding something like b, the mean of the new data will also get added by this number b. This is clear. What happens in variance? When you talk about variance of this data is suppose sigma square. So variance of this data will be a square sigma square simply. Am I clear on this point? Yes, we know this fact. So this implies that mean of y which is given to me 17 it will be 9a plus b am i clear on it let's say this is equation number one now let's talk about the variance variance of y which is given to me 216 it will be equal to a square into 24 
so from here we get the value for a square 216 by 24 so a is plus minus 3 but it is given a is positive so only possible value is 3 am i clear on it put the value of a back here to get the value for b we write here 17 minus 27 that is minus 10 what is required now requirement is a plus b so a plus b is 3 minus 10 that is minus 7 yes the correct answer for this question is option number 4 now moving forward let's check out the third question if px be a polynomial of degree 3 that has a local maximum value 8 at x equals 1 and a local minimum value 4 at x is equal to 2 this is clear then p0 is equal to px is a polynomial of degree 3 when you take its derivative it will be of order 2 this is clear now derivatives degree is 2 we also know that these are the two points of maxima and minima that is extremes right so what is the possible equation of derivative let's write down we can write p dash x is equal to lambda times x minus 1 x minus 2 clear now just integrate we have p x is equal to lambda times x cube by 3 minus 3 x square by 2 plus 2 x plus another constant of integration say mu right question is saying find p0 that is they are asking for the value for mu right all right p1 this is given to me because maximum and minimum values are mentioned p1 is 8 p2 is 4 so we have 8 is equal to lambda times 1 by 3 minus 3 by 2 plus 2 plus mu and p2 which is 4 lambda times we simply put here 2 this gives you 8 by 3 minus 6 plus 4 plus mu simple calculation required now what we are looking for we are looking for p0 that is substitute x equals 0 in this polynomial just simplify calculating we get p0 which is mu is equal to minus 12 right simplify just two equations that simple calculation nothing else left for us so yes the correct answer for this question is option number four let's write and mention it so i'm sure this question is also clear let's move on to the next one that is question number four